Hey everyone, we're back. <laughs> we're back. What? We're back with episode number fifty-three. Roll that intro. What's up, guys? How's everyone doing? Hope you all are living well. Yep what he said <laughs> and thank you for watching us and for everyone that has subscribed recently uh, we appreciate it yes am i good yes, yes. <laughs> and if you have subscribed to our other channel we really really appreciate it we just hit 200 subscribers so that's fun yeah um and yeah yeah we we oh. definitely we in, we really appreciate all the audience from this channel as well and if you do enjoy like us i think you'll enjoy that other channel too yep yeah um but if you haven't yet don't forget to like and subscribe to this one and to the vlog one if you care to you don't have to but you know you should um you but yeah so i hope everyone's doing well let us know in the comments what's going on life you know mm -hmm. this Any one's gonna things. be a little shorter it looks like yeah <clears throat> so we're gonna do a video by someone a reaction to a video by someone named brit in germany which is probably a British person living in Germany. Um, it's called Five Reasons Why You Want to Work in Germany and the Work Culture in Germany. We we from actually Brit. Yeah, from Britain British perspective, but yeah, so let's see from American perspective. Today we are talking about German work culture and the German labor market in general. And I wanted to go over advantages of living and working here. Uh, so that you can know what to expect when you move to Germany. So the first thing is coffee. If you're moving and starting to work in Germany, you will need to learn to love coffee, like I have. Uh, coffee is a big uh, tradition in Germany. There is the cafe and Kuchen tradition, or the coffee and cake, which is in the afternoon, basically the equivalent mm. of the British high tea. And this really is uh, a wonderful tradition. You go to the cafe, sit outside on the street, drink coffee, eat cake. This is my absolute dream. I know. <laughs> I love any reason to be encouraged to drink coffee and to eat a nice little snacky snack, okay? Yeah. You know? Yeah, and Ger not Starbucks. Germany. That's like the only area here you see people doing that yeah. daily. Yeah. Not just like on holidays or weekends yeah. or things. Yeah. It's cool. It's kind of like a tradition thing. Like, it, it's like... It's part of the work culture. It's not even just like free time. Here it's more free time. Yeah. There yeah. it's part of the work culture, which I'm like, yes. Um, I don't think I would let us know though, because I think we will hit Germany one day. But if you're from Germany, let us know the best spots to go that aren't super touristy, but like are really like cool little hidden places or like, you know, like local cool spots, just stuff. So we have a reference. Um, well, we're going to have to look back in this <coughs> then because we're not going any time in the next year. Yeah. But eventually I do. Eventually, wanna, yes. It would it would encourage us more to go if I think we knew where yeah. to go. I actually had a friend from Germany when I was younger. I think he was from Bremen, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, he was cool. Cake and a lot of the work culture also revolves <coughs> around the coffee machine. So this is something you can really start to look forward to when planning your move to Germany. Another huge dog, benefit I see of working in Germany is paid leave. So Germany as a country and Germany most companies are extremely like generous it, with I holidays, depending on the company of course, but I think <coughs> the minimum is at least 20 days. Most companies offer 30 days paid leave per year and it's very flexible and generous about how you can take it. So if you don't manage to take it within the calendar, given calendar year, you can even carry it over into the next year. Oh, and nice. this way you can group and block holidays together to take a longer oh, period true, of time yeah. off work. There is also something called a Bildungsurlaub or educational. I think you could do that here too, but we don't get 30 days. I think it's like less than two weeks. That's true. Um, but i also think that it's the company's decision if it rolls over to next year because i've worked yeah. a job where it does and i worked a job where they're <laughs> like where they're like we're gonna just pay you out for what you didn't take yeah, and then yeah. it's gonna start over that makes sense. holidays sort of um for further education so if you want to learn something or improve on a skill that it kind of does have to benefit the company it has to be relevant to your work 
but you can take up to two weeks off per year to study this topic. So a lot of people here, they study English, they go to uh, USA, Canada, Australia to do an English course for two weeks and then they extend their, their break for another two to three weeks wow. and it's all how much are you okay they extend it i was like how much are you learning in two weeks i feel like it would take me a couple months that's cool that they offer that. the whole yeah. time off it can be up to four to five <laughs> weeks is paid holiday oh, nice. paid leave and it's really a great way to you know sharpen your skills develop your knowledge and I mean, the idea is that it uh, benefits the company as well. So you can really look forward to mm -hmm. that. Other ways of getting time off in Germany are if you're moving house, you'll get an extra day's paid holiday for that. If you have a death in the family, you get an extra day for the funeral. And uh, most companies and bosses are very generous when it comes to personal issues. If you're having some um, crisis in the family or at home, then you will usually be granted you know at least a week to sort out your personal issue that's that seems nice because here it seems like they don't they don't if, if you have a personal problem and you really try to portray it to if you have a really cool boss it's different but if you don't and you say like i'm really going through something they're gonna be like so are we like everyone is like you still have to come to work like it's gonna be more like i would like say that. yeah like if you have a good relationship <laughs> um like a little bit deeper than just like friend no sorry if it's not surface level with yeah. you and your boss then yeah they and might be <laughs> nice and be like yeah it's you, fine yeah. i get it yeah but um I, I don't know about you but every time i've had to like bring up something that wasn't like an emergency but like was still detrimental to me but i i always felt like uncomfortable having yeah. to like be like you may not get this but i really need to have this day off and i don't know yeah because it, it just seems like here they don't take into consideration as much with like mental health with things like that yeah um, i know some jobs will offer like bereavement <laughs> for if there's a death yeah but not every place there's a there's a lot that isn't like a universal thing here it's just kind yeah. of like if it, if the company's cool mm -hmm. enough to, to do it <laughs> even the manager too because they can kind of like sign off on things or not but yeah. um i remember i got lucky because I, I had a cool boss at one of the jobs i was working and when my grandmother was passing I went back home, but like, we didn't know exactly when she was going to pass, but she knew, we knew that she was about to. So I had to kind of keep telling him like, Hey, like, we don't I don't when. know when I'm coming back yet because we're playing this by ear every day. And he was really nice and understood, but some bosses could have been kind of an asshole about that. Yeah. Yeah. And this is usually paid as well. So this is something you can really look forward to. Obviously, we love work. We like to love our work, but it's always good to take time off. And you will definitely get a lot of time off in Germany. The next point is sick leave. All I wanted to say is that it's very easy to get sick leave in Germany. So if you are feeling a little under the weather, if you're not feeling oh great God. you or you just really can't be asked to work, then it's very easy to go to the doctor and get a sick note. The next point is maybe something a little tricky for uh, you coming from a different country. If you're coming from the US, Canada, UK uh, or other, you know, southern European countries, it is not really common to find friends at work. So usually there's quite a strong distinction between friends and co-workers in Germany. Usually you're kept at an arm's length uh, when first starting. <laughs> I mean, it might develop over time, but don't expect to make friends straight away. This is not. That's funny, That's but I notice here there's a, I, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but here I feel like there's this theme as like banding together sometimes at work with how much you hate your job. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you all like. It's like the, you guys. It, you know the struggle with each other yeah yeah so, so you there's guys like this camaraderie between yeah. people where it's like yeah we're all we're all miserable here yeah. so let's just be miserable together, together yeah. and it'll make it easier yeah but i will say most people the friendships they have they start at work yeah you know that makes sense yeah because you're around these people all the time five days a week yeah for the most of your day mm-hmm so eventually you're gonna make friendships. So that that's actually shocking. I'm not saying they should be friends. If you don't want someone to be your friend, that's fine. But like, I'm just surprised it doesn't naturally happen a little more. But I, I well, I think in other countries they they differentiate their social life with their work life a lot more than we do. You mean they're more professional? No, I'm just saying like they 
they focus on both separately way more than we do. Like I think here, most people they they like to push their work life as part of their overall Appearance, life. Appearance, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, their work is their life. Exactly. It's not, that, yeah, yeah, I think that happens way more here than in other places. Yeah normal in Germany and even if you do meet colleagues outside of work and have a great time with them and think you're developing a strong relationship when you get back to the office on Monday most likely the relationship will be as if you had never met outside of work so the last <laughs> point I have is punctuality which you really need to respect in Germany it is very important to be on time for me this is you know actually kind of given i think it's really disrespectful to waste other people's time and turn up late and in germany this is no different so especially in the workplace if you are late on a regular basis it will definitely lead to disciplinary action to talks and ultimately to warnings and getting fired so take this seriously don't be late when coming to work and that's it for today i'm sure you're excited about the holidays thanks so much for tuning in if you want more of these videos, let me know. Leave a comment, leave a like, and see you I mean, next time. It's kind of given here. Yeah. Be on ten. Cool. I mean, I feel like that's universal. Yeah. yeah. You would assume. Yeah. I don't know. Some people don't care. They yeah. Just feel like, yeah. Anyway, um, that was quick and yeah, to the point. Quick and to the point. I'm reading some of the other videos on the recommended. But yeah, that's cool. Germany does seem interesting. We've done a few uh, Germany videos recently. and I feel like yeah. Germany gets covered a lot on YouTube compared to some of the other countries. I think it's a very popular destination. I think so, too. Yeah. Um, it seems like very much a country that it's what you make it there. Like, they're, like I don't hear a lot of stereotypes about Germany. They're, you know what I mean? Like, I don't hear anything that's like... I mean, I hear some. I don't. No, the only ones I hear are just that they're like strict i guess i would say like very strict people but then also i don't know like that's a country i would go to and be and i would just be going in blind like you don't really know what to expect yes yeah which i kind of like that is nice yeah whereas having i don't want to have some type of like prejudice going in and being like oh these are these are the people that everyone says are like this which you, you would know? have going in into a France. lot of other Oh, yeah. Not just France. A lot of other countries. Or Paris, I think it's more. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Anyway. Well, no, I'm saying because, like, I, I wonder, too. There's a lot of countries that have a, a stigma. And, and you almost, like, go into it feeling like You already know what to way. expect. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I, I think it's cool. I don't I don't feel like that with Germany. I don't feel like, oh, this is what's going to happen here. That's this true. what I'm going to see. Anyway, uh, hopefully that wasn't offensive because I didn't mean it. <laughs> I don't think that was. But yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, like and subscribe. Yes. Thanks for watching. Bye. Peace, loners.